Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Canva with MailChimp. MailChimp is one of the best email marketing platforms around and Canva, as you may know, is one of the best online design platforms. So we are going to be creating beautiful email marketing template and we are going to be uploading it and distributing it using MailChimp. While you can use MailChimp to create email templates, their template options are limited or their designs are limited, which is why Canva is popular and I'll be showing you how to integrate both. So the first thing you will need to do is create an account on both platforms. And to get started on both platforms is completely free. All you'll need is your email address and you're going to create a password. After you have signed up to both platforms, you're going to go onto Canva and you're going to tap on the search bar. Once on the search bar, you're going to type in email newsletter and you're going to select email newsletter after selecting email newsletter you will be redirected to a new page on this new page you are going to see numerous templates that you can choose from so all you will need to do is simply scroll down and you can see the different newsletters that we can select and by the way any one of them that you see with a crown that says pro that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But don't worry, there are numerous templates that you can choose from for completely free. Let's say I would like to use this template. All you'll need to do is simply tap on it. Once you have tapped on it, you are going to be redirected to a new page on which you can scroll down and you will see similar templates that you can choose from as you can see right here. So let's say instead of using that template, I would like to use this one. All I would have to do is simply tap on it. Once I've tapped on it, I'm going to select customize this template and you're going to be redirected to a new dashboard. On this new dashboard, you'll be able to add your own personal touch. So you can see that the display is quite small. To zoom in right where you see page one of one, you are going to simply pull along the slider to the right and you can see that it increases the size. After the size has been increased, from there you can edit the text. So let's say I would like to change anything in this text box, you can simply tap on it. Then from there you can type in whatever you want. As you can see right here, you can type in whatever you want. And if you'd like to add another text box, you could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text. Then from there, you can drag and place the text box and you can add text right there. So we'll simply change the size. So you can see right here. So you could edit the size or you could tap on the top right here to change the font size. So let's say I want to change the font size, you could do that. And you can also add images if you want. So you could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads and you could upload an image if you want. You can edit it whatever way you want. So for example, if we would like to change the background color, you can do that by simply tapping on the entire design. Then you'll go to the color box right here. And let's say I would like to change it to purple, I could tap on purple. If you wanted to change this text, you could do that. You can also remove this right here. Or if you would like to change the text right at the top menu option, you can also do that. After you have made the changes, and let's say for example, I would like to change the image. All you'll need to do is select the image box, then go over to the top left hand corner, tap on elements. Then you could tap on search elements. And let's say, for example, I would like to add this watch. I could simply drag and place the watch as you can see right there. I can also move this box if I want. Then I could adjust the texts. So you can see right there. Let me adjust the texts right there. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then from here, you're going to tap on download then tap on download once more. Once it has been downloaded, I want you to go back into MailChimp. 
Once on MailChimp, you are going to go over to the top left hand corner and you are going to tap on create. After you have tapped on create, you will be led to this dashboard. And from here, you are going to tap on design email. Right below regular email, you are going to tap on design email. After you have tapped on design email, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can add your contacts as you can see right there. You can add your contacts. But before doing that, we are going to add the template that we have created. To add the template, you are going to simply scroll down. Then right where you see content, you are going to tap on design email. After you have tapped on design email, you are going to be redirected to a new page. On this new page, what I want you to do, you can see the templates that they offer as you can see right here. But what I want you to do is simply scroll down and you are going to select this one that says simple text. So we are going to tap on this one right here. Then we are going to be redirected to the design page. Once on the design page, what I want you to do next, you are going to go over to the left hand option and you are going to see the text right here. So all we'll need to do now, you are going to tap on the trash can, then tap on delete as we are going to be deleting all of this information. So let's tap on delete once more. Once you have done that, what I want you to do, you are going to see image. You are going to simply drag and place the image right here, right where it says drop content blocks. So we are going to add the image content blocks. So we are going to add it right there. You can also, after you have done that, you are going to tap right where you see upload an image. Once you have tapped on upload an image, I want you to tap on upload in the top right hand corner. And from there, you are going to search for the email template that you had created earlier. So you are going to select it, then you are going to tap on open. And you can see that it is uploading right here. Once it has finished uploading, you can see how it looks. Now, now that we have created our newsletter, it is time to link it if you would like to add a link for it. So all you'll need to do, as you can see right here, we are going to be adding the link. To add the link, you are going to simply tap on the newsletter. After you have tapped on the newsletter, you will see link. You are going to tap on that. Then from there, you could simply paste in your website URL. So you can see link to. And you are going to paste in your website URL. Then you will tap on insert. So once you have sent out the email, if anyone that has received the email would like to take action, once they tap on the image, it will automatically redirect them to that website that you want. And we are going to add the footer. So let's do that. We are going to simply tap and pull a footer right there. So after we have added the footer, we are going to tap on save and close. After you have added the footer, if you would like to add anything else, you can do that by simply tapping on the box, as you can see right here, the content box. So we have added the footer and we have added our newsletter. After we have done both, all you'll need to do now, if you wanted to add your social media, you could do that. So you could tap on social follow. You could add your social media at the bottom right here. As you can see right there, then you could fill in your social media, meaning your Twitter or Facebook. And also, if you would like to add a call to action button, you could do that by tapping on button. Once everything is clear liking, you are going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on continue, you will be redirected to a new dashboard. On this new dashboard, you can see a preview of how it looks right here on the right hand menu option. And next thing that you're going to do, you're going to add recipients. So these are the contacts or the persons that you want to receive the email newsletter. You can also add from, meaning your email address. You can add the subject. Once you have done all of that, all you'll need to do now, you're going to scroll down. And after you have scrolled down, you're going to see right there, add social to your post if you want. And once everything is there liking, you can tap on send. Or if you would like to preview it, you could tap on preview 
and that's it so you can see how it looks right here on desktop if you like to see how it looks on mobile you can see right there if you like to see how it looks on inbox you could tap on inbox but to see an inbox preview we would have to upgrade and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe